In this video, I'm going to walk you through how to install CAD Query in Windows, which involves installing Anaconda or Miniconda, whichever version you prefer. If you're new to Anaconda, you don't really know anything about it, I would suggest starting with the Miniconda. It's got a, a smaller install size, and uh, it's typically what I use when I'm working with CAD Query. All of the installation information that I'm going to go over is included in the README. Uh, the Anaconda install instructions aren't there, but I'll point you to a website and they have installation instructions there. You scroll down, you'll see a getting started section here, which has these instructions. They have the, they use the Conda command, which you get once you install Anaconda and start up a console. So we'll be able to run these commands and install CAD Query. So we'll create an environment, we'll activate the environment, and then we'll install CAD Query into that environment. You can just search for Miniconda download in your favorite search engine. Uh, here I've ended up at docs.conda.io and I'm under the latest Windows installer section. You'll notice it's Python 3.8. CAD Query is fully compatible with Python 3.8 at this point. And uh, I am looking at the Miniconda Windows 64-bit installer here. You'll see that the link has already been visited because I've already downloaded it. There are installation instructions over here in the sidebar that you can reference if you need to. But it's fairly straightforward. You download the installer and run it. Um, I believe that I just use the Express install. I didn't really customize it at all. And when it finishes, you should have a Miniconda item in your start menu. So if I come here and say Miniconda, it's Anaconda PowerShell Prompt, Miniconda 3. I'll click on that. And we get a console. You'll notice it has this base indicator at the beginning. And it tells you that it's running Miniconda 3 up in the title bar. So the base indicator tells you that you're in the base or default environment inside of Anaconda or Miniconda. So now I can run the conda command and I can do things like env list to get a list of the environments, which right now there's only the default base environment. But next we're going to add a couple of CAD query environments, including a development environment that's more cutting edge and a stable environment that's, well, stable. Okay, so we're gonna switch back to the CAD Query README here, and we're gonna follow this block of instructions straight through with a couple of slight modifications, starting with creating the CAD Query environment. So we do conda create-n CAD Query, and I'm gonna go ahead and call this CAD Query Dev, it kind of depends on what you want to do, whether you want to install the latest development version or the stable version. A lot of times I encourage users to install the latest version because they'll have seen mentions of different features that are newer, um, that are only available in the development version that aren't in, available in stable. The stable tends to move much more slowly and CAD query development moves pretty quickly. Um, so if you want the latest features, the development environment is the way to go. And I'm going to call this one dev to kind of keep it separate. And we'll say yes. So that's all set. And we see here it tells us to go ahead and activate CAD Query Dev when we want to use it, which we want to use it now. CAD Query Dev. Okay, and you'll notice that the base indicator that was on the front now changed to CAD Query Dev. That tells us that we're in the CAD Query development environment. Any, any changes that we make from here on out, uh, installing Python packages and things like that, should be contained within that environment or that container. So now that we have that, we can do the CAD Query install line. And you'll notice here in the README, this says CAD Query equals master at the end. That means that it's grabbing the latest version from GitHub and installing that uh, so that you have all of the latest additions to the CAD Query library. 
So we'll do Conda install. We're going to add a channel for Conda Forge. And add the CAD Query channel. And then we're going to say CAD Query equals master. And this can take quite a while to install, uh, partly depending on the speed of your computer and your internet, internet connection and, and factors like that. So we'll go ahead and say yes to install all of that. Okay, so we see that this finished successfully. We're still in our CAD Query dev environment. So now it should be possible for me to run Python REPL and do import CAD Query and have that succeed. And it does. So now I can do something like result equals CAD Query dot work plane dot box one comma one comma one. So we're creating a box that's one unit on each side and I'll just print the result and that seems to be working fine we've got a work plane object containing our box right here so we know CAD query is working properly now and now we can go ahead and move on to installing CAD query stable which is very similar to installing the development version uh, the only thing that install that changes is this install line here so I'm going to go ahead and um, clean this line up and go ahead and I'm gonna deactivate this environment deactivate okay so now we're back to our base environment if we come back to the readme and scroll down down here there is this section called standalone stable version you'll notice that it has the different install line here so we're going to come back and we're going to do um, the same thing, the, the first part that we did up here, where we're going to do conda create. So we're going to do conda create dash n for name, and we'll call it CAD query stable to keep it separate from the dev environment. Yes. And then it's telling us again, kind of activate CAD Query Stable. Whereas last time we did kind of activate CAD Query Dev. So now our indicator has changed from base to CAD Query Stable. So now we're not going to do this line again with CAD Query equals master. We're going to come down here to this line, which says CAD Query equals two. This is how you get the, the stable version. Okay, so we're going to do conda install dash c, add the conda forge channel and the cad query channel, and install cad query 2 equals 2. We'll say yes to install all of those. Okay, we see that that install has completed. And we're still in the CAD Query stable environment, so now I should be able to start the Python REPL here too and do import CAD Query. And that succeeds. So we'll do result equals CAD Query dot work plane dot box one one one. And see, I've forgotten here that one of the latest things to change has been in the newer version of CAD Query, it doesn't require any named plane to be used, but in the older version, it does. So once I add that, then it succeeds. We'll do print result. That works. We've got a work plane object with our box in it. And so, so now we know that the stable version of CAD Query is working. So there is one other way to install and use CAD Query, but it has a fairly limited use case. It would typically maybe be used on for like server applications for converting CAD Query scripts. And it's not, it does not make CAD Query available so that you can 
use it in the Python REPL or inside of a script. And that option is CQCLI, which is a command line utility that executes CAD query scripts and converts the result of those scripts to another format, an output format like uh, STEP or STL. And at the time of this recording, those are the only two formats that are supported. The, the nice thing about CQCLI, there are releases over here. And if you expand assets down, you'll see that there is a release for each major operating system, Windows, Mac OS, and Linux. When you download the, and extract that, you'll get a folder with an application that should just run. You don't have to install Anaconda or Miniconda or anything else. Everything that you need should be contained within that directory and the application should just run. So again, if you needed, uh, maybe you've got a server backend that you want to upload scripts to and have a convert, uh, convert the category script to an output format like step or STL, you can do that with this application. The README is, is fairly complete um, with installation help and usage. Goes through all the command line um, options. The codecs are basically plugins that can be used and created by users. So right now there's a step codec and an STL codec, but it's very easy to add your own codecs. So if you wanted to create a codec for GLTF or something like that, that would be fairly easy to do. And more codecs, stock codecs included with CQ, uh, CLI will be added in the future. So that's it for this video. Hopefully it was useful and helpful. Um, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask a question in the comments under this video. And don't forget that CAD Query also has multiple communication channels like Google Groups, uh, Discord channel, um, and also on GitHub issues for things like bug reports and, and feature requests. Uh, the communication channels are in the CAD Query README, so feel free to go and, and check those out. And thanks for watching.